Across social media, particularly on Instagram and Snapchat, temptation is everywhere. Glamorous looking accounts offering get rich quick schemes. It's easy money. It almost sounds too good to be true. It is. And they want to make the easy money. They think they're just handing over a bank card with their details. They don't realise that they're not going to see any of this money at the end of it. Dan is one of hundreds of fraudsters using social media to tempt young people in particular into handing over bank cards and other personal information. Many of the criminals post videos flaunting their wealth, effectively sticking two fingers up to the authorities. Despite the obvious risk that online offers could be scams, Dan says there's no shortage of those willing to take the risk. The easiest way now is to go on like Instagram and type in instant cash or something like that. And there's, there's so many like um, following to these groups that are advertising the exact same thing that what you're trying to do to people. So you just drop them a message that, yo, I've got a job, have you got a card? The fastest growing social media fraud is that of the money mule, where users are promised a cut of the cash if they allow their accounts to be used to launder the proceeds of crime. Sometimes they do get paid, but mostly they get nothing, or worse, their details are used to steal from them. Latest figures for the bulk of last year show almost 30,000 money mules in the UK. Around a third, more than 9,500, were under the age of 21. It was actually on Instagram where they reached out to me. Rochelle was just 15 when she agreed to become a money mule. The criminals used her account, but she got nothing. The bank even blocked her card. I felt really humiliated because I can't believe that I actually thought that I was going to get this money. But I think people are actually afraid to say that it hasn't worked because they feel humiliated and embarrassed because I know my sibling got scammed, my best friend got scammed and a lot of my other friends got scammed. Social media companies have been accused of doing little to stop criminals exploiting their networks. Instagram said criminal activity is not allowed on Instagram and our community guidelines clearly state that people must follow the law. We encourage people to report content they think is against our guidelines using our in-app tools. Snapchat made a similar comment. The banks at least are being more proactive, joining forces using sophisticated computer algorithms to pinpoint fraudulent activity. And the police are warning young people just to get more common sense when dealing with tempting online offers. Dan says neither he nor any of his fellow fraudsters have been caught and as long as there are willing victims, he's not going anywhere. If you keep going online and you keep seeing these accounts with 7,000 people on it, that's like, let's say, 7,000 potential people that would willingly hand over their bank card. And once they hand over the bank card, that's it. Authorities tell us that under 25s are six times more likely to fall victim to social media scams than over 50s. The most tech-savvy generation seem far less savvy when it comes to protecting themselves from the online fraudsters. Mark White, Sky News.